What's going on guys? Today I am on my way to Uruapa. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to go see the waterfalls. Let me get my notes out because this name is kind of hard to say. It's called Cascada La Sara Saragua. Saragua. It is currently 7.53. You guys can see that. And my bus leaves at 8.10. I'm not sure how long it takes to get there. It shouldn't take more than two hours. And then from there, I'm gonna grab another bus to get to the waterfalls, and then the hike begins. So I will see you guys when I'm there. So I made it to the bus station and I'm trying to go to the waterfalls but apparently it's a little bit difficult to get there from this bus station. Well it's not difficult to get there because I can get dropped off but the coming back is what's difficult. And so one of the ladies at the front desk suggested that I go see the volcano Paricutin which is about 30 minutes closer I think to where I'm currently at. Yeah, this is how it happens sometimes. Sometimes you just have to be really flexible with what you're doing. Make sure you're always writing down the names, even if you have to ask like 10 times because you'd rather have it down than go there and forget whatever it is that you're saying and look like a crazy person. You never want to look completely lost. We just made it to the bus. I'm taking this bus to Kanga One, and from there, I'm gonna go get on the volcano. Hey guys, so I made it and the bus ride was about one hour and I think I have like a 20 minute walk to get to the cabins. I'm on my way to the church. It's around 12.50 right now. If you don't want to walk the hour, you do have the option of getting a horse. There are a bunch of tour guides here that um, offer these services to you. And if you want to also go to the volcano, you do have the option of doing both the trips with the, um, with the horses. You guys can see from here you guys can see the main volcano which is the one that erupted and got the church to be dug underground it's called the Paricutin and then the one right next to it is the smaller one Zapichu. I'm only about five minutes in I have not eaten breakfast yet I do have my oatmeal though which I thought I was gonna eat when I got to this church but I don't know if I can wait that long but I wanted you guys to see my little friend. Apparently the dogs get attached to you and they just follow all the people that come and visit. That's him. Look at her. One sixteen. I started walking at 12.50 and I'm, I'm trying to time this. Apparently it could take 30 minutes or an hour.
looks like. It's honestly beautiful. You can see how when the volcano erupted, everything just got, the whole town is underneath everything. And the only thing that was able to stand was the church. How amazing is this? My goal is to get there. That is where the altar of the church is. tips to keep in mind is that if you guys plan on coming to see the volcano and seeing the church definitely come in early or spend the night and then wake up the next day wanting to do everything you do need horses if you want to go see the volcano just because it is quite the hike but if you want to just come see the church you don't need a tour guide or horses to get here it's about a 30 minute walk if that and that's like walking slow because I stopped and took pictures there's definitely the food stands out there if you guys didn't bring any food and you guys want to eat some food that's from here uh, I do recommend it because I did try the quesadilla and it was so so good nothing beats handmade tortillas nothing I can honestly tell you guys that like coming up that hill it's no joke. So we made it to the top. Now we're gonna go head back to the intersection to take the bus back to Uruapan. And I'm spending the night in Uruapan. I'm so excited. I will see you guys when, when, when I'm not too tired to pull out my camera. What's going on guys? Good morning! I am in Uruapan and I'm on my way to go to the national park. When you come to Uruapan, this place is known for their avocados and macadamia nuts. Make sure that you go and try these popsicles. They're gonna have these popsicles almost everywhere 
and they're called Urani. They're really, really good. I mean, the avocado and maracuya, which is the passion fruit, is really good, but the macadamia one. We just came to see the narrowest house in the entire world. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.